Okay, we're at the beach. So there's two ways to get that beachy looking hair. As you can see, we've driven down to the beach. All you have to do is go to the water. You may bring back a little souvenir with you, but you know, that's okay. It's just a little bit of sea scum. But then you take the beach water hair and this is one way to do it. We're gonna show you another way. Much easier and less gooier. See you in a minute. Introducing our new scrunchy hair sea spray. I'm passionate about scrunchy, wavy, beachy hair and I created this product just for you. I know you'll love it. I've used vanilla and rose scent, which one are my two favorite scents. I hope you love it. And you're watching Two Blooms TV. Today we're going to talk about using our new product, which is our Scrunchy Hair Sea Spray. It's got some really nice nourishing oils in it. It's got argan, organic coconut, organic jojoba oil. It's got rose water. It has a vanilla rose scent and it smells really great. So what I'm going to show you today is how to get those beach waves. So what I recommend doing is depending on your hair length, mine's not really, really long. You can part your hair down the middle, separate it in two. And then what I did on my right side is I kind of took this part in half again. And I've got this back part and I've got two parts up here. So I'm going to just put the left side in a ponytail while I work on the right side. And I've got two types of curling irons. I've got kind of a standard curling iron that most people would, will have. And uh, this one, which is a spiral curling iron, which I really, really like. I don't know if you can still find them. You probably can. I got mine quite a while ago. So you're just going to take a section, maybe one inch section. And I'm going to face the mirror and I'm going to use the spiral. And you want to curl your hair away from your face, so this way. So we're going to go down to the end, you don't have to be exact, and you can leave the end out if you want, that's fine. And because this is a much tighter curl, you don't want to leave it in too long, because we just kind of want a light, kind of a light curl, nothing too fancy. So then, I'll keep going back. And what I'm going to do, so I've done a few little curls, I've used the spiral curling iron, and you're just going to take this, I'm going to shake, I'm going to spritz it with our scrunchy sea spray, and smell that nice vanilla rose aroma. I love it. And then you're just going to scrunch with your hand and you can see they're kind of getting nice and beachy looking back there with that too. So now we're going to go to this bottom piece here. I'll show this one with the regular curling iron because that's probably what most of you will be using. So we'll take, I don't know, about a half inch piece go almost to the end, not quite. I kind of leave the end straight. Hold that for about a minute maybe. You'll know depending on your hair type. My hair is pretty straight, has a little bit of body to it, but it's pretty straight overall. And then there's a nice curl. You could actually leave that a little bit less. That's my whole head and I've used an alternation of the curly curling iron and the regular curling iron. And now that I'm all done, what you can do is as you're doing each curl, you could spray it with a sea salt spray, but I like to wait till my whole head is done. And then I'm going to mist all over. I'm going to scrunch. You can kind of separate the curls a bit with your hand. Upside down, and you can see we have that beachy wave look. Signing off, Michelle from Two Blooms. Is it recording? I don't know. That's your, maybe that's your wheelhouse.